Education is one of the most powerful things in life. It allows us to find the meaning behind everything and helps improve lives in a massive way. To really change the world, we have to help people change the way they see things. The school has the optimism, the faith that leads to achievement, and nothing can be done without hope and confidence. Providing education to the community is a platform that makes it possible to defeat all barriers. In order to hurdle and to defeat barriers, one should pass through the gate of the one and the only secondary institution in the southern part of Gigantes Island. Granada National High School Balesteros Extension, situated in Gabi, South Gigantes Island, is 24 nautical miles away from the mainland of Carles, an approximately two-hour boat travel. This school stands within the heart of a 3.12 hectare hilly land area. This educational institution belongs to a community which has marginalized population physically and socio-economically separated from the mainstream society. Due to its distance, transportation difficulties, and the weather condition experienced by the people, the school is referred to as a geographically isolated and disadvantaged area. The school is an institution of hope, unity, passion, aspiration, and excellence. It is a home to 1,197 dreamful and enthusiastic learners and are nurtured by 39 dedicated, committed, and compassionate teachers with a witty planner, true public service provider, and a multi-awarded school principal, Fralin B. Leonis. The School-Based Management Washington Schools Program of Granada National High School Balisteros Extension. The SBM wins areas. Water is a major area vital for all known forms of life. The water in school is tested twice a year. Water tank and reservoir are kept close and are cleaned. Safe drinking water is free and available to all learners in every classroom and in school in general. Water supply is adequate to maintain and sustain the cleanliness of the comfort rooms. Sanitation is another important area. The school has 45 functional toilets with 14 gender segregated comfort rooms. Toilet male ratio is 1 is to 40, and female toilet ratio is 1 is to 35. It has 13 functional grip hand washing facilities with 190 outlets. Individual hand wash facility is another innovation present in every classroom. Moreover, food handlers have health certificate assurance to make sure that food is safe. Then, the school has hired a utility or personnel for toilet maintenance. Another major area is hygiene. SVM Wind's office has menstrual hygiene management rest spaces and every classroom has its own one. This innovation makes females feel comfortable during their menstrual period for they can rest. Also, sanitary pads are provided to females. This SVM Wind's corner in every classroom is updated with wash information by the section's committee in charge. Creative and personalized hygiene kits are situated in the Wind's corner. Wash activities particularly in grip hand washing and tooth brushing, are student-led. These first three major areas have respective team committee in charge who take the lead in the wash implementation in their classrooms. The school also gives recognition to the best implementer to each category. Aside from MHM rest spaces, the school has a functional clinic to cater learners' health needs. The next wash area is the warming. It is conducted twice a year with the presence of rural health unit personnel. Information, Education, Communication or IEC Campaign and Health Symposium are also provided for them. Health Education is integrated in the curricula. IEC materials and Health Education are placed in strategic places to remind the learners the importance of WASH in oneself. Rollout of WASH activities is led by the learners. Aside from Project Hugas, Project Happy, Healthy, Proficient and Productive Youth, and Project Suporta, stakeholders' unity on a productive outcomes relevant to accomplishments are school projects which also promote health education. The last area of SVM wins is the capability building, training on liquid hand soap making, DRRM, CCA. Peer helpers and solid waste management are attended by the project team learners and teachers and are echoed to all learners, parents, and teachers. Symposium on mental and emotional health is also included. The following are the best practices of the school on SBM wins. It started with the advanced planning, the inclusion of SBM wins in enhanced school improvement plan or annual implementation plan, goals and target setting are specified. 
School projects, activities, and program status to stakeholders is presented to them during the General Parent-Teacher Assembly. Transparency of all PAPs is also a main concern the school gives during meetings of stakeholders. The school SBM WINS team and homeroom SBM WINS team are organized. The creation of school-level homeroom SBM WINS best implementer is raised. An orientation to teachers, to learners who will lead the WASH activities, and to parents for additional information is delivered. SBM WINS is also integrated in the curriculum. The lessons in grade 7 to grade 12 learners have incorporation of water, sanitation, and hygiene. Gender Responsive Basic Education for GAD Implementation under Dep and Order 32 Series of 2017, Climate Change Adaptation and Disaster Risk Reduction, CCA, GAD, and WASH Learning Materials are used in the delivery of the lessons. WASH activities are included in the class schedule of the learners. The school is conducting a grip hand washing and tooth brushing after the flag racing ceremony, during break time, and lunch time as reflected in the class program. The Basurako Ibotiko program is a school innovation which has been launched to help sustain the sanitation in school. The collected compacted pit bottles are used to construct plant boxes in the Gulayan Saparalan and Zero Waste Garden. SBM Wins is also a part of Brigada Escuela of the school. Focus group discussion with school community planning team, project team leaders, and project monitoring evaluation and adjustment team is observed to evaluate the accomplishment of the program and to discuss actions to be done. Project monitoring evaluation and adjustment is strengthened to monitor program sustainability. The school has also strengthened its income generating initiatives in liquid hand soap making and is fortified with its newly constructed water refill station titled Child Centered DRR Safe Water Source in school. It has forged linkages and partnerships to the following The University of the Philippines Visayas Foundation Incorporated, UNICEF, Save the Children Philippines, Red Cross, Iloilo Provincial Population Office, Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office, Pawan Beach Club Incorporated. Carles Local Government Unit and DRRM Office and Barangay Local Government Units of Gabi and Antangan and St. Nicholas Training Center. Covenant and Memorandum of Agreement signing with these partners were entered. Thanksgiving and recognition of awards to all partners and stakeholders were given. Presentation of Project Status Report and Field Assessment of Projects among Partners was kept. School MOOE is one of the fund sources of the procurement of wash supplies alongside with the financial assistance from the municipal and barangay local government units. Additionally, the school has other significant innovations that cross cut to other school programs, activities, and projects. It is the first island school which has eight CCTV cameras for learners and school safety and security. It is also the first island school to have an automated weather system to locally forecast weather condition which sends out information up to the municipal DRRMO. Biometrics for learners in attendance counter monitoring and internet connection acquired from the MDRRMO are big contributors in school performance. Thus, the school receives awards and recognitions in SBM wins and other WASH-related programs. These are 2017 to 2019 SBM wins 3-star rating, 2018 Regional Gawad Kalasag winner, 2017 and 2019 Regional winner of Nestle Water Leadership Award. The school year 2020 to 2021, due to the pandemic, observes the new normal setting. Classrooms and offices are provided of food baths, enhanced free sanitizer, face masks, and face shields are added in the wash supplies and additional hand wash facility at the gate entrance is put up. Thermal scanner is available at the school entrance, put up. Holding area and isolation room are prepared. Teachers observe the health protocols such as hand washing, food bathing, thermal scanning, sanitizing, wearing of face mask and social distancing when entering the school premises. The tests we face in life's journey are not to reveal our weaknesses, but to help us discover our inner strengths. We can only know how strong we are when we strive and thrive beyond the challenges we face. We did this. The school, with its hard-working faculty and staff, strives hard to be a powerful school. Aside from this, one's commitment towards work and the mission to provide quality and better education are fires which have kept us burning and these transforming promise into a reality. The Granada National High School Balisteros Extension has well implemented and well-sustained school programs, activities, and projects, particularly the SBM wins. 
Thus, the school has conquered the sea today and is ready to conquer the ocean tomorrow. Finally, the school leaves its wash mantra, one balisteros, making SBM wins a daily habit.